Hey guys, today I am going to be shipping my heads to Jake Raby so that he can work on them as part of this project. He suggested shipping them in a cooler, which I thought was pretty brilliant. So I ordered one of these Coleman 48 quart coolers off of Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. Um, but uh, I didn't know if it was going to be big enough, so I just test fit this. It doesn't have the valve cover on. He said to ship it fully assembled with the um caps in there so i will reinstall those caps i will not send the cams he didn't want me to send the cams but i uh, will attach the cam cover but this was just a quick test fit and check this heading out so if you look here this sticks up just a little bit higher than the cooler and you can see some marks up here where i've been adjusting it so if i shift this to where that piece comes into this groove it just barely fits with a little bit of pressure. So that will help hold it in place, not slide around. I'll put a little bit of packing material around it anyway, but I can drop that right back in the box that it came in. And so it's perfectly ready for shipping. So uh, that's the plan. I'm gonna order another one of these for the other head and uh, do a little bit of reassembly and ship these things off. All right, quick reassembly job here. Hold up, learning something here. So when I took these out, I didn't realize that they were different sizes. There are three that are the smaller size and one that is the bigger size for the intake cams. And according to the parts diagram, the bigger one goes here at the bottom and the smaller one goes over here. And those are two of the smaller ones, but this one bottoms out for me when I put it in, at least when I did by hand last time. And it also says that for the exhaust cams, this one is longer, which I did not notice there being a longer one. So I'm gonna pull these back out and see. Wow, I'll be, it was a different length over there and I just randomly got it right. So yeah, be careful about that. Yeah, I think you can see that there's a little bit of gap there and a little bit of gap here and all the rest of them are flush. So if the cam was actually in there, maybe it spreads it out to take out that gap. I don't know. Uh, if you guys know, let me know in the comments. Anyway, cam cover going back on. All right, it is all reassembled. Let me try to stick it in the cooler. Well, this is uh, close enough with the box closed. It'll hold it down. A little patent around there. I think we're good to ship it. Found some spare packing uh, material that was in my trash can from a previous order of my oil. So she's good to go. Perfectly sized box that the cooler came in from Amazon. So don't have to worry about that. And now I'm just uh, ordering one more of these because my test was successful. So I'm gonna get these shipped out on Monday.